NASA's Mega Moon rocket passed a big test today as it readies for a trip to the moon. All four engines fired up at the Stennis Space Center, and it's encouraging for NASA and amateur astronomers alike. Devin Bartolotta has more. For the cosmically inclined, things are literally looking up. We have progress. The ground rumbled underneath eager spectators on the Mississippi state line Thursday as NASA tested the core power of the Artemis mega rocket. Go for engine start. H boys are on and engine starts has been okay. It was, it was more than I expected. The welcome center at Highway 607 is about three miles from the Stennis Space Center. But close enough to hear the rumbling. This test to me is not as loud as the last test. And see the huge steam cloud rising in the sky. It was even visible from our WWL TV sky cam in New Orleans. It's, it's more fun in person. It's more fun in person because you get the feel of it. TV is TV, you know. NASA fired up all four engines to certify them for space flight and to gather data. The Artemis program has big plans for a lunar return. What does this mean for our plans? Well, this is a major milestone advancing our goals and objectives for Artemis. Um, to land um, the first woman and the next man on the surface of the moon. The hot fire test lasted eight minutes and 19 seconds. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's out. It's long enough for NASA to gather the data it needs and for amateur astronomers like Livingston Mulhuizen to get excited about what's to come. It's the future, you know. If you don't try to do something, then you don't ever get done. In Purlington, Mississippi, Devin Bartolotta, Eyewitness News. Well, if the data looks good, next stop is the Kennedy Space Center. It would then be assembled with the other rocket elements. They are hoping to send the first woman and the next man to the moon using the rocket by 2024.